herself. It's just been a pleasure and a privilege. I don't know how else to put it. And you, as per, have been absolute perfection. Stay right there. Freeze. Joe's on the way. Have a lovely evening. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 7 o'clock. This is Tom Howrigan. Scotland's First Minister, Humza Yusuf, has described the arrest of his party's treasurer as clearly a very serious matter indeed. The SNP's Colin Beattie is being held in connection with a police inquiry into the group's finances. He was detained hours before Mr Yusuf made a major speech at Holyrood, which our Scotland correspondent Lorna Gordon says ended up being overshadowed. It did look like he was trying to, to announce some new policies for the next three years in government, try and reset the relationship with business, but inevitably all these policies have been overshadowed by this significant uh, police action today in arresting Colin Beattie. The Surrey and Sussex police forces have been officially reprimanded for recording more than 200,000 phone calls without telling the person on the other end of the line. The Information Commissioner's Office said the forces had been using an app since 2016 which recorded all calls made by police officers and staff. Fighting has continued in the Sudanese capital after a 24-hour ceasefire was supposed to come into force. The two rival generals, whose troops have been battling for control, agreed to a humanitarian pause to allow civilians to escape the fighting and get medical help. The head of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, said this was vital. Healthcare facilities and workers must never be a target, especially... In a situation like this, where there are thousands of civilians who need access to emergency care, all parties must ensure unrestricted and safe access to health facilities for those injured and everyone in need of medical care. Two people arrested after the World Snooker Championship in Sheffield was disrupted by a Just Stop Oil protest have been released on bail until June. One match had to be postponed yesterday when a table was covered in orange powder. Another was delayed after a demonstrator tried to glue themselves to a table. The first complete Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton sold in Europe has made more than £4 million at a bilingual auction in Switzerland. I can sell £4 million. 800,000 francs going once, going twice. Dritte Mal. Ich danke vielmals. The name of the buyer hasn't been made public. The skeleton's made up of the bones of three different dinosaurs found more than 10 years ago in the United States. Harry Styles and his songwriting partner Kid Harpoon have been nominated for three Ivor Novello Awards. Two are for the single As It Was, the third is for Songwriter of the Year, with competition from artists including Ed Sheeran and Florence Welch. The winners will be announced at a ceremony next month. And the weather, staying mostly dry and clear tonight. It'll be cloudier in the south of England, though, with the odd shower. BBC News, it's three minutes past seven. Thank you, Tom. Joe Wiley's shiny, happy playlist. There's going to be big tunes. Blowing the roof off radio, too. Shiny, happy. If you want to get absolutely bouncing, this is where it's at. BBC Radio 2. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. How you doing? Oh, thank you, Sarah. Should always want thank Sarah. Um, yeah, I hope your day has been fun. And if not, then we're going to try and get you there with the music we have lined up for you tonight. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch and tell me all about your tribe this evening, your evening, what you're up to tonight, if you're pottering around, if you're working, all that kind of stuff, then please do. The text number is 88291. That's 88291. Off we go. The Shiny Happy Playlist on BBC Radio 2. 